Greetings from your of Henley High. Eddie Favin, your principal, is here again to give you an update of what's been happening and what will happen in the future. Uh, very soon we'll be having a nice long weekend with Easter, so I'd like to offer my uh, season uh, celebrations to those for this important time of the year. But also being towards the end of term, uh, lots of students uh, are thinking that lessons are slowing down and winding down. Uh, I like to encourage and emphasise that lessons will be continued right up until the last day of term with their normal programs. On the last day, school will finish at 2.15 and our buses have been readjusted for, for that time. Uh, so I encourage all to continue attending school and to um, participate in our learning right through to the end of the day. As we also move to the end of term here, we're starting a bit tired. Uh, we've noticed that a few students uh, arriving late to school and signing in. Um, we would love to encourage you to continue arriving on time and being in the lesson so that uh, teachers might have to recover, uh, revisit stuff that's already been addressed. So please ensure that students arrive to school on time. With that in mind, next term is going to be colder and uh, we're getting to a, a time when students need to be warm. Uh, I want to emphasise that our uniform has been designed and is supportive of people to keep warm clothing. Uh, I know a lot of our students like to wear shorts most of the year, but if I can encourage you as parents to encourage your child to be as warm as they can, but within the school uniform. Um, uh, Devon do supply four different sizes of trousers and cuts to, uh, to ensure uh, students have good choice. Uh, if there's a major issue, I'm sure you can talk to our team uh, about how to ensure we maintain high quality uniform wearing. Uh, going on with uh, the notion of attendance, you obviously will be aware that with mobile phones, our government is banning phones at the beginning of Term 3. Uh, we as a school have been having a, a blitz or a challenge to ensure that we follow our current policy this term. And uh, in that process, we've had a, uh, approximately 280 students having to hand their phones into the front office because they've been playing with them during lesson time. Uh, I know our teachers are working with students to have conversations about, well, what's going to happen in term three when phones aren't there in the yard? So we will be coming up with more information early next term about our strategy to transition to that world. Um, an aspect of that would be to ban phones, uh, start banning phones uh, sometime during term two, uh, but this also links to exemptions. At this stage, our advice is exemptions are, are for only medical reasons. Uh, if you would like to get an exemption or not know more, we'll send more information out next term. But for your knowledge and information, it's got to be a medical condition uh, that uh, warrants that. And if we do give exemptions, there's got to be an appropriate place and time to use it. It's not something you can have around the schoolyard in here. Uh, moving on from that, uh, we have a wonderful open day. Uh, we have approximately 800 people apply for the, to come for the day. Our numbers say we had well over 700 uh, attend and walk around the school. Uh, I think it was a great way to showcase our school and uh, we also showcased a new promotional video that we have. Uh, and uh, in this video there will be a link for you to watch the new promotional video uh, as it sells our journey as a school. Uh, with that process, if you did engage, uh, I know Bob will be sending out surveys to people that we know, to the community, because we obviously want to do an even better job next year. And lastly, uh, I love the fact we had open day because we're out of COVID and we're able to celebrate the great work that our school, our students and our teachers do. So thank you for supporting us. Have a very restful Easter, a restful school holidays and I look forward to uh, working with you next term. Thank you.